Hello everyone, QG Dog here, and as a matter of fact, I'm going to be talking about the Fallout first and my honest opinions of it. Is it good? Is it bad? Well, if you're get, uh, thinking of getting Fallout first, I am going to be explaining all the pros and cons, all that type of stuff in this video. So if you're wondering if you should get it or not, this is probably a video that you may want to consider before watching, before, before you buy it. Now, there has been um, some hate going on for, from, for Fallout first um, about, like, you know, people hating it and stuff like that. There are, there's apparently a war going on with griefers and the Fallout first members. Um, and honestly, um, basically there are griefers who have Fallout first as well, but still, um, so other than that, Fallout first, let's, let's talk about it. My honest opinions of it is, it is good, actually. Um, now you may be wondering, what about the thumbnail? I'll explain it to you later, but this is the stuff that you get, and that you get right now. You get the ranger armor outfit, you get the Fallout first emotes, the Fallout first, um, uh, icons, and as well the Fallout fall first, um, pay to win. I would say it is pay to win, so I agree with people with that. Um, scrap boxes, and sort of paid to, sort of pay to win, um, survival tents. So, I'm going to be showing all this now, but other than that, the first reason why I suggest getting Fallout first is because you're not only going to be getting the stuff that I just showed you right now, um, but there's some stuff in the dev room um, that Fallout first is actually adding, and it's a ton of stuff, skins, um, armor, and all that type of stuff, including um, ver versions of the Ranger uh, armor outfit. Um, there's the Riot um, armor. The riot armor from Fallout New Vegas, the heavy riot armor, and a heavy version of um, the armor I showed you. The hev uh, heavy version of the ranger um, um, armor outfit, and as well the desert ranger um, skin. So all that is actually part of the skin, and if I go on repair slash uh, modify, it has a paint option. So yes. Um, Fallout first, we'll be adding it. Um, we'll be adding this stuff into the game, so I'm guessing that this is all gonna be for the first month. I may be wrong. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how Bethesda is going to work with this, but other than that, as well, you get atomic shop points. I forgot to mention that. Um, I think like it was a thousand five hundred, something like that. Yeah, but other than that, um, in my honest opinion, it's a good deal because you get all that, you get private servers, um, which is good for grinding for legendaries and stuff like that. Higher chances of legendary spawning, by the way, than um, private servers. But in my honest opinion, it is pay to win. The reason why I say that's because of the scrap boxes, the survival tent. Yep, the survival tents even play, pay to win. And as well, the private servers. The reason why I say they're pay to win is because the private servers increase the amount of legendaries you find. And as well, nobody will interrupt you and stuff like that. I honestly think it should be free instead of pay to win. But Bethesda decided to make it pay to win. Um, they as well um, added scrap um, boxes, which I think is permanent when you get it. So if you lose your membership, you'll still have your scrap boxes and your survival tent, which this is the survival tent. Um, I already have one placed, but the survival tents can actually be used. They're used for two things, storage and a fast travel point. 
Other than that, though, if you're not using it for storage or fast travel, there's nothing else to do with it. Um, you can't build, you can't, um... There's no, like, scrap, um, workbenches or anything like that. That's, uh, inside the survival tent, so I don't see the use of this other than fast travel and, um, storage. But other than that, yeah. Oh, and as well, the scrap box, people have been complaining about it. I've actually put it all this junk in there ever since the Fallout first was released, and I haven't witnessed my junk being disappeared. The main reason why is because there's a glitch going on with your junk disappearing from the scrap box. I found out what's the cause of that, but I don't basically know how to explain it, so um, you'll mostly just find it on Reddit or something like that. But, <clears throat> other than that, is it a good deal? It is. For all that, Atomic Shop points, private server, all that type of stuff, it is a good deal. Plus, as well, you get free stuff. Um, the only thing I disagree with it is a couple of things. Private servers, is it free? Which I disagree with. It shouldn't be a thing. Um, second thing is the, um, the, uh, what's it called? Um, private servers, like, being buffed and stuff like that, like, legendaries increasing and stuff like that. That, that shouldn't even be a thing. Uh, even though I do uh, like it, and grinding for legendaries is more easily, easier, but still... Some people, including me, would think that that's sort of still sort of uh, pay-to-win slash cheating add-on to the game. But yeah, I, and the other thing that I hate about it is where I'm from, my country, it costs more. So you know how your mem month, um, monthly membership. Uh, our subscription is like twelve dollars or something like that. Ours is twenty dollars or something. I had to pay twenty four dollars to um, get it. That's including tax. Um, and the yearly, the yearly membership was even worse, a hundred and twenty something. And if I add tax to that and all that. That is 140, somewhere between 140 and 150 dollars. Which I honestly think the monthly one is better than the yearly. In my honest opinion, it's too expensive. And as well, here's as well another thing that the Bethesda should keep note, is the Atomic Shop points. They're expensive as well. People have been complaining about that. I've been complaining about that, plus as well, I've been complaining about this, Fallout First, being expensive as hell. Which is why I hate it so much for being so expensive. Um... Any other complaints? Well... Any other complaints about this? I do have a couple of other complaints. One being... Um... That it's basically not private servers. Your friends can join off of you anytime they want. Which I honestly think is um, not private. But still. And um, another thing is that hard events such as the Mishift Night. Um, while I did it in a private server with no one else around. Um, especially with my PvE build which is this character. It sucked. And, in my honest opinion, you know what I think they should do? They should, um, probably... Uh, this is just a suggestion. Probably, um, nerf... The, um... The creatures in a private server. Depending on how many people are in the server. But honestly, that's my opinion. So, is it good to get? Yes, it is. So, I suggest getting it, but the cons are only those things. Alright, that, that's it. 
on that. That's my honest opinions of Fallout First, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I hope you enjoy this video. If you haven't, subscribe, like, leave a comment down below, and as well, hit the bell notification button. And we're in the UNR recruiting people, and it doesn't matter if you're low level, if it doesn't matter if you're a PvP or PvE, we allow anyone into the UNR. And as a matter of fact, we're working on the UNR trailer. It's taking a long time. The main reason why is because we want to make it look very good and very amazing. We're going to be doing overhauls for the trailer like crazy and making edits to the trailer. Um, and we're going to be making more than one trailer. Yep. Other than that, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed. Um, and as always, I will see you in the next video. Later.